always hold by the metal. Yeah, by the metal. Um, you want to flip it around another one? Yeah, of but I was thinking that was a bit strange right there. Go. So, pull my skin back. Bring in. Uh, it might be more comfortable if you bring in this way for your your first pass. Like this. Yep. Okay. Just, and it, the moment you feel it, don't hesitate. The moment you bring it into your face, just start even sliding it down before you touch. Yeah, I'm barely even touching, but I can and feel that take away the hair. Before. Barely even touching the skin. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, and you don't have to wipe after every uh, every pass. Okay. It's I only wipe when I'm switching up angles that I'm holding a blade. So if the other side of the blade's gonna be touching. Okay. This angle's easier. Yeah. That's. That's uh, interesting when you get some hairy stuff. Some actual hair, yeah. Mm -hmm. At that, um, you've got the, the heel that's the part closest to your finger. Yeah. Bring that in so it's right next to where you're cutting and use that to cut. Okay. So you use it a bit harder. Time. Harder to see that. And just remember. Always keep it in motion. When it's on your face, it should be in motion the whole time. Okay. Okay. Feel free just to do just your cheeks and then maybe your jawline or maybe your mm -hmm. uh, your chin. Or I, you know. What? One of the things is you can use your jaw by mo moving your jaw to help stretch. You mm -hmm. see how all of a sudden you get this whole extra line on your chin Ew. that you couldn't reach before. Okay, you're coming at too steep of an angle. Bring okay. the blade, bring the heat, uh, the spine of the blade back towards your face a bit more. Like this. Yep. Okay. See how feel how how much smoother that cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Here and stretch a little bit higher up. Okay. And you feel how the soaps is already drying out. Yeah. With your first couple times, just lather up the one side of your face or just do the lathers right before you do that various pass. That'll keep the soap from drying out. And as a general rule, you only want to pass over somewhere it's got soap on it or is damp. Okay. Just one of those things to help protect you. Probably didn't need to, to wetten up down there because I don't think I'll get to it in time. Yeah, we're gonna have to take off in a minute or two. Okay. Don't necessarily worry about in your chin. Let's do your, your jawline and around there, yeah. Remember, you can use your chin to help stretch out too. By poking yeah. it out, that'll help pull the skin. I was just feeling a bit much of the razor in contact so I was stopping. Yeah. And if you get if you're getting that feel absolutely sure. There's, if at any point it feels weird, just pull the razor off. Okay. That's Too steep, good. it's flat to your jawline. It's parallel to your jaw. It's hard to tell in the mirror. Perpendicular, okay. you want to rotate it ninety degrees. No. Wrong okay, one. Possible. It's a bit easier to understand, okay. Because you want to keep the blade parallel uh, parallel perpendicular to your motion. You feel that heel cut into your goatee? <laughs> yeah, could hear it pretty well too. Oh. You, can see, you can see the hair on the blade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're okay right there. I personally would bring... No, you don't want to go against grain, we're just yeah. going with grain right now. Okay. Again, like that. Watch your heel on your goatee. Thank you, I can feel it. And remember, you got different points of blade. You don't have to touch with the entire blade. You can okay. use just different tips. Okay, you're going too steep of an angle. Yeah, I could feel that. Okay, that even feels a bit steep. Yeah, much better. Okay. 
Kev Zuckerby would best shape your new probe your life. <laughs> That's a fun sound. Yeah. <laughs> Just go, go and come in and get this area right here. Good. Is that good? Yeah. You're going to want to stretch down. Thank you. That's a lot easier shaving on the dominant side. Yeah. Um, and since you're, you're just beginning to learn, I would advise trying at least a pass or two every time with your left hand. Mm -hmm. Since it's all st new motions, it'll allow you to learn how to use your left hand quicker. Which just allows you to get different angles and stuff. Now to get around your Adam's apple, you can just pull the skin to either side. And then just pull that skin of the Adam's apple so it's not on the Adam's apple. Yeah. Uh, 